So today I'm here with a new Christmas mini album to share with you. So let's take a look. So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm just going to give you a walkthrough of a mini album that I just finished decorating and I love how this turned out. So for this book, I am using my Christmas edition uh, mini album, which is a tutorial that I put on last year. And I also did a Christmas edition blank book sale. So that is this book. I had a couple extra and I always keep one to myself to do like the prototype and also like to remember if I ever want to remake that book, just how the pages go together. Uh, so I decided to decorate one of the ones that I had and I love how this turned out. So I will try to link below the tutorial that I created for this book and I'm pretty sure I did a tutorial for that. <laughs> but also if you are part of my mini album subscription club, this is going to be a mini album very similar to the one that I'm going to be creating for the month of December. So I'm just already getting so many ideas ahead because as you may already know, I'm super excited about that. <laughs> but anyway, so this book measures eight by eight and it has a three inch spine and four signature pages. And I am using this collection called Peppermint by Prima. It's one of the older, collect older collections, but I've been trying to go through my stash and decorating uh, some of my blank books using the papers that I have. I have so many blank books <laughs> that I just have, you know, ready to be decorated. And I'm trying to get caught up with my own, um, like, Christmas or pictures in general, you know, documenting. So I went ahead and printed all the pictures from Christmas last year and I'm ready to now add them to my new book. And I do print my pictures on Shutterfly when I have like a lot of pictures. And when I do my journaling, I do print my own pictures at home using my selfie Canon printer. Uh, but anyway, so back to this book, I had this chipboard piece, it's two pieces here. So I went ahead and embossed these on gold and just layered them together. And then I'm using some Prima flowers throughout the book. So let me show you um, what I'm using. I don't think they have names, but I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. They were actually on my stash, so I might have picked this up last year. So I used some of these hollies, and this one's actually, this package comes with only the small ones, but this one came from this pack here. So I had this on my stash and I just wanted to use it throughout the book. Uh, so I did some distressing around the edges, some paper collaging, from you know just using some little scrap pieces to add colors and make it look a little bit more vintage i love how this turned out look these little children and just everything about it i love as well here and then i just added a little sticker and let's take a look inside this book uh, so over here we have a little um, holy again all of the flowers are by the same prima packages and uh, then i did some decorating using some of the images from the collection i added some foam tape in between and i left this open so we can slide a picture behind some of these pieces over here we have a pop-up and then these open up like that so you can add pictures in there close this up uh, then we have a gatefold page over here, I added another one of those beautiful Prima flowers. Uh, I collage here using some foam tape and just distress all around. And then just added some of the stickers from the collection. This opens up like that. And then we have these two floating pages uh, or floating photo mats. And then I added some of the cut parts from the collection and some of the stickers. And these are places for pictures. And, and then over here, these are pocket pages, so we can actually add some photo mats and add more pictures here. Whoops. And then we have another large pocket, so I just went ahead and created a photo area, or you can do some journaling here and then add a picture on the back. And then this is a tall pocket, so you can actually put another picture there as well. And then this goes in right here. This over here opens to the side, and then we have these cascading pages. Uh, so I just complemented with some white because I only had one 
paper packed and I only had the A4 which is kind of like a weird size <laughs> paper uh, but it worked and I had enough to decorate most of the book. Here's the next uh, insert so we can add a pocket page. Over here this page opens up perfect place for a picture over here and then this opens to the top we have this 3d place that you can also use as a pocket and then this opens to the side and then you can place a picture down there as well and over here we have a uh, belly band so you can add a couple more of these photo mats down and then also a pull down waterfall super super fun i just love these pull downs and again place if you wanted to add another insert then over here uh, we have another little collage so you can add a picture there this slides up like that picture place and then you can slide that back down and this also opens to the side so again a lot of room for additional pictures. So over here we have, I just love this collection that had all of these like different collage images. I think it's just so much fun. So when you place your picture, you can see some of the images around. Another beautiful Prima flower. And then over here we have a pocket. So I just created two more photo mats. Put that back in there. And then here on this last page just again i did some distressing around the images to add a little bit of volume this opens up and opens down and then on this inside cover another place for a picture i did a little collage using some of my little scraps a little sticker another sticker here and i added some foam tape and one of the holy leaves there as well and then this opens to the side so lots of room for pictures i'm excited to dress this book up with all of our fun christmas memories from last year it's going to be a very special book and i can't wait to see it um, come together with pictures it's going to be so fun to you know finally put all my memories on one place and i'm excited so i hope that you guys enjoy the walkthrough i hope this gives you a little bit of inspiration on how to decorate your blank books and i will see you on the next one